G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Kerbal Space Program, which I am really disappointed I missed out on last week. And I'm very happy to be back with, because I managed to successfully do some good science last time. And it would be really, really nice to this time, I'm thinking, if I really focus, <laughs> I might be able to get some sort of probe all the way to Duna, maybe, or maybe I'll try and send Jeb and we'll have a real risky mission. We'll see. Um, first off though, let's just check if there's a easier mission around here. Explore the moon, rendezvous two vessels. Ah. Yeah. We'll do a mission back to the moon, or in this case two, because we have to run over two vessels, because we got that one, and the plant flag, which is a good cash maker, even though I've got quite a bit. Oh, green sandstone. Yes, I should do that one as well. So I'm thinking I can probably do a few of these missions, because this time I have no expected deliveries of furniture that are going to distract me for 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> so we should be able to get a lot more done today. Um, <laughs> thanks, the Armored Bear. <laughs> thanks for the bits. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think, I think we'll give it a crack. Uh, so what do we got? I despise tourist missions. Uh... Orbit around the moon, fly by the moon, land on the moon. They don't, they just, the tourists just don't pay well enough. That's landed, I can do that one. No. Now, if I'm going to send a probe to Juno, I've not really played since we need to have, like, networks. Um, so, do I need to have any sort of network beyond Kerbin orbit? That was something I was thinking about last night, and I was like, hmm, do I, do I need this? Is this a thing? Yeah, but how do you do a deep space comms chain? Is that like having stuff in Kerbola uh, orbit? You have a good KSC antenna and put the big one on the probe, you should be fine. Well, as long as um, Kerbin's rotational thing is right. In fact, we've got two and almost two and a half million, so I'm going to upgrade the tracking station to the final version. Uh, I'm gonna up... Nope, that's upgraded. How much is this? Yeah, let's... Let's go full on the VAB. And we're gonna have to save up a lot to do the R&D building. What does the next level of mission control do? Ah, oh, it's just macked out. Active contracts. That just gives me more Kerbals. And that's all the strategies which I don't really care about. So. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Use, it, use your largest antenna and launch a few probes over a series of launches. Time in between is key. Hmm. That sounds like precision that I'm not going to do. <laughs> That sounds like... Uh, that sounds like that's going to be a struggle. Okay, so I've got explore the moon, plant the flag on the moon. Satellite for Kerbin. Another satellite for Kerbin. Okay. So we've got... What are the orbits of these two satellites that they want? Huh? 
Oh, there we go. Oh, perfection. Almost com almost completely opposing orbits. That's just perfect. <laughs> oh, man. All right, fine. We can do that. Uh, I had a I had a rocket that I think I saved that was able to do some of that. Uh, well, let's let's make a new one, and we'll see what pieces we might want. Thanks, O2 Felix O3. <laughs> Thanks for the prime sub. <laughs> Thank you, Armored Bear. Thank you again. Thank you for six months in advance. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the opposing orbits is difficult if I want to do it with one probe, which I do. So I want to try and do the mission with a single probe, which means that I basically have to get into one orbit and then completely switch it around to go the other way. Uh, now, did I end up getting the control thing? Small inline reaction wheel. Where's the big one? Advanced inline. Oh yeah, that's the reaction wheel. Okay, I think I will unlock this because that I'm going to need these RCS thrusters for the docking anyway. I have attempted docking with just engines before and it went terribly. And I did want to get these command modules for going back to the moon. Yeah. Spend on that. And then I just want to see what else I need to get for this probe. Oh, I do want the better panels, don't I? For more power. Wait. Do I have any other clampotrons? Am I going to need that as well for the docking mission? Uh, yeah, I could just leave one up there and do a separate mission, but where's the fun? <laughs> I like to add an extra bit of risk to the predictions for failure. Uh, what was I looking for? It was the... Clamp it was the, yeah, docking. Coupling. Okay, I don't have any clampatrons. I'm going to have to do that. We have to unlock that. In general, one, in general, for a comms array, one in retrograde orbit can help minimize blind spots in a poorly optimized network, which I think we all know is exactly what I'm going to end up with, a poorly optimized network. Okay, I'm not going to buy any more, because now I'm down to 229 from my 500 from the previous one. Okay, so what do I need to have on these two missions? I need to have... Nothing special for that one. And thermometer and mystery goo unit. That's it. Okay. Easy. Rodobodine. Uh, action wheel. Power. Some more power. Some more power. Hush dice. <laughs> yep, totally. At some point, I've got to remember the shortcut keys for doing various things like this. There we go. Yeah, I'll come out. There's, there's something about KSP that just... They nailed, they nailed the right balance of fun and challenge for the early game, I think. Later in the game it gets a bit serious, I think, sometimes, but 
the early game is balanced very very nicely. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Alright, communication. I want big antenna. But I also want little ones. Sure. That'll be totally fine. <laughs> this, this is totally not unnecessary. Uh, mystery goo. And a thermometer. I'm doing well, SX driver. I am doing well. I, over the weekend, I upgraded my PC and so far have not suffered any ill effects of that, which has been a delight because I was really worried things weren't going to go very well. That's my only mini rocket. Yeah. Right, I think that's my core bit. We've got thermometer, mystery goo, stability, blah blah blah. We've got. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I doubt we're gonna be able to make use of this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, this, this comms thing is just going to curb and orbit. I just felt like I'd overdo it. In fact, let's overdo it a little bit less just because I don't like the fact that these two are clipping into each other. There we go. That's better. Uh, now... Let's save that, and let's save it as a subpart. Wasn't this where I did the save as a subpart thing? No, that's the filters? Down the bottom? Where was it? Can anyone remind me? I did this last time and I've already forgotten. I thought it was something with pressing the simple and advanced mode. Thanks for the prime sub, Kasado. Thank you for the prime sub, Kasado, please. So, oh, the sub is. There we go. There we go. Thank you. No, not your category. Wait. Never mind. I'm a dum dum. This part is not attachable. Well... Do do do... Hang on. Oh. They're all the giant ones. Alright. Fine. Put that on there. Put thing. Wait, do I not have any? Oh, I don't think I've got any aerodynamic stuff. I don't think I've got any fairings. Right, I forgot about that. Hmm. Bearings should be here, but they're not. Okay, I forgot that. Uh, right, let's strut this then. Because <laughs> that could be awkward. 
Uh, huh. Give it a little bit of stability. Uh, in fact... Do I, do I even have any coupling that's small enough here? What's the engine plate do? Another alternate design, isn't it? Alright, yep, that's the best we can do. Not realize. Oh, the engine plates for attaching more engines, that's right. Thank you. Forgot what that was about. Alright. Now we should be able to save this as a sub-assembly. Although now I'm less interested in saving it as a sub-assembly. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, big rockets. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> Will this do the trick? Uh, I think what we need is some um, command and control, one of those. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to... Uh, a point on top is a good idea. Yeah, I wonder if I do this. Maybe not a full mushroom. Although I think that's the only option I've got. Oh no. Could do that. Hang on. Uh... Alright then, fine. Be like this. There we go. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't need the second docking port, but I thought it might be fun to actually eject that part. Ooh. In fact... Let's make it an ejectable fuel tank for the for the probe. Yeah. All right. Uh, got our staging. Got that. Got that. That pops off, and that goes. Yep. I just gotta remember to drain these tanks. You know what? Uh, let's just check where we're at with those orbits. If it's like they don't, they weren't polar, so I don't think I need to worry too much about um, when I lift off. Okay, so the close one is anti. The orbital, whatever the term is for it. Um, it's going against the equatorial spin, so I'm going to have to launch backwards. Actually, does it make more sense to go to the big orbit, then switch back to the small orbit? Because is the delta V required for going that bit extra out? Hmm. That feels like complicated calculations. I'm going to do it retrograde. Let's go. I don't do many launches retrogrades. So let's do it. 
Yeah, you can influence the outer orbit easier. That's what made me think maybe going to the outer one first. And the outer one's also f more favorable for launch. You know what? Let's, let's try and do it properly. I really do want to do a retrograde launch, though. For the fun of it. Alright, uh, hopefully this is going to get us there. Fingers crossed. I need to do a prediction! That's what I need to do. Uh, slash prediction. Start prediction. Will I successfully complete the mission? Uh... So in this case, as explained on previous <laughs> streams, uh, the goodbye Jeb option, I think I will also put in brackets Blamo, just for if it's an uncrewed mission. All right, start. Morning, Timmy. Let's go. How loud was that? Probably should look at my thing. That's really loud. That's really loud. Uh, let's turn down the master volume a bit. Let's turn down the spacecraft volume a bit. Let's try that again. That's still really loud. <laughs> uh huh. Which is odd, because the games yesterday were not. Uh, let's drop that even further. Ah, it's more like it. There we go. <laughs> hey, Black Shadow. Yes, did not expect to jump scare whilst lurking. <laughs> yes, I look at Um... Realistic launch volumes, part of every KSP experience. Uh, that's the second time I've managed to stuff that up. Though in this case, I think I had more of an excuse because I uh, did do the whole PC rebuild, reinstall thing. I'm amazed I haven't had more issues with my volume control. I was fully expecting to have massive issues with it. Uh oh. No, stop tilting. No. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, I've got gyros, they're just not very strong. So, tilting early was a mistake. <laughs> oh, Black Shadow with the perfect emote of a spinning Kavak. Yep. No! I think I underestimated just how big an impact the uh, very not aerodynamic nose cone was going to have. <laughs> well, at least we, I, I'm surprised it's taken me this long to have a launch like that. Because I usually have heaps of launches like this. Sp 
the Seahawk Pro Launcher. Yes. Doing that 6720. Alright, Apoapsis is above 70. Let's go out to 100, I think. Just have to shake up the fuel a little, makes it more efficient. <laughs> There we go. Uh, let's set up a maneuver node this time. Do, do, do. Okay. That time, 47 seconds. It's the next maneuver, a kickflip. Uh, sure. <laughs> I just... I'm... I'm so glad I over-engineered, or over-built this thing. I don't think I over-engineered it. Over-engineered would have been, like, engineered to precision with everything having to be moving perfectly. Over-built is what I did. Because, uh, <laughs> when things like that happen. I don't know what I expected when I yelled to do a backflip, but I was massively astonished. Mmm... Uh, now we need to go down to like 20 something seconds. And... Rocket go now. Oh man, I do love the graphical mods. So pretty. So pretty, but also so risky for um, the KSP2 devs, because if they can't meet up with the mods that are available in the original game, that's going to really be a trouble. And we got 100 and orbit. That'll do. Okay, so, now I'm going to try and get out to the big one and hope I don't intersect with the moon. I mean, it's coming around to this side because I've already gone too far. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Do what I learned last time, which is... Prograde burn. Let's get the orbit big first. Then I'll change my inclination. Um, yeah, Tincho, I've, I've watched a number of the Falcon 9 booster landings and things. Without adding extra mods or, well, annoyingly, the multiplayer mod for KSP, Luna, the Luna multiplayer mod, and there's another one, but I think it was stopped updating last, ages ago, but annoyingly, that mod was not up to the task of allowing Capac and I to do those sorts of launches where one of us controlled the booster, one of us controlled the ship, because that's what we really, really wanted to do. No, but it didn't give us the ability to. The latency, even on a LAN, was too high for us to be able to actually combine um, our efforts that way. And then the sinking wasn't up to, the, up to snuff for it. Which is why I'm really excited about 
hopefully a inbuilt multiplayer. But even though I know that that's probably not going to happen even next year. Oh, dark multiplayer. That's right. Considering the dev of Waterfall. Oh, that's right. They are too. Amongst many others is a dev for KSP2. I think we should be okay. Yeah. Hopefully. Because that's also the other impressive thing. I've... I've added a lot of visual mods, like, visual fidelity mods to games like Skyrim before. And the game then just chugs and is horrible. But this is still running really nicely. I'm sure it's worse than if I just had it on vanilla, but it's still good. Even if the interface is a bit clunky with all these buttons over here. Which I'm sure I could get rid of some of. Get to the actual apoapsis. There we go. And that should be about right. Now I have to fly all the way around to that other side to fix the inclination. Fantastic. about somewhere like there add maneuver in four days oh someone was uh, <laughs> mentioning about Valheim and my upgrade earlier in chat Yes, my upgrade has made a big difference to Valheim performance. Like, double the frames that I was getting before in the town. More than double. That's about right. So my upgrade was a complete rebuild except for GPU. Because upgrading from a 3090 to anything seemed ridiculous. One degree. I think it kind of accepts one degree. Uh, now... I go here, add maneuver, and in. May well let me be close enough with this, I wonder. Uh yeah, but I was I was running an 8700K with a G, an RTX 3090, which You know, <laughs> definitely bottlenecked on the CPU in games that, well, in all physics games I was bottlenecking, but stuff like Dark Tide, it's made zero difference. But I think later stage KSP, it'll be, it would have been noticeable. Bring it in. I know I'm not at the node yet, but it's close enough.
Okay, I still haven't reached close enough. It wants me to get closer. Hey, Yoshi. Yeah, our type I play a lot of games that do require a lot of CPU effort because simulation games tend to because they don't tend to run on the GPU. Like I think I think even um games like Rimworld you could end up being bottlenecked there. There are no green ones that are... There are no green ones that are dead. <laughs> there we go. Okay. One satellite mission done once I leave it there for 10 seconds. And... Done. I haven't lost a Kerbal yet. I shouldn't say that, because now I probably will. Oh boy. That's a very different inclination. Uh, uh, it'll be fine. Somewhere like that. You go all the way over. Yes, reverse course! Oh, actually, can I... Because <laughs> I am reversing course. I could just flip around where I'm at and <laughs> start heading the other way and then when it crosses over, fix up the inclination there, but uh, I'll just do it this way. Wait, what? Oh. Weird. Huh. How am I going to fix this? Which direction do I need to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Something like that will get me most of the way there. I plot it. No, I gotta plot it. Yeah, Dutch, exactly. 9700k and a 3080. You probably... Do, if you play a lot of sim games, you probably do have some CPU bottlenecking. I was definitely having some heavy CPU bottlenecking in uh, Valheim. But that's in a very unique situation in Valheim. Uh, <laughs> being that the game is not really supposed to run very well with, from what I hear, 9,000 instances. And in our town centre, we have 25,000. So... It dropping down to 14 frames a second there was not so unexpected. <laughs> but me getting up to almost 40 frames a second now was unexpected. Oh, went too far. Whatever. It'll be fine. And yeah, it's loads of games use aren't th particularly well threaded, etc., etc. All that stuff. But yes, I'm very happy with my upgrade. Yeah, 
It is performing nicely for me. Okay, that's most of the way there. I haven't even switched onto my satellite stage yet. I might be able to get this thing to the moon for the ro to be the second rendezvous vehicle. I'm going to try. Space Engineers has multi-threading um, to an extent, but you're still going to be fairly heavily bound by how fast each core is. Yeah, wasted wasted going to a 4080 made a lot of sense. Uh, because he was running a 1080 Ti. Me getting any sort of GPU upgrade for, given the games I play was like, yeah, that's not worth the point. That, there's no point to that. <laughs> there's just... I, I just don't play games that would make that worthwhile. I don't, th I don't think anyone does, really. And can you tell how hard I'm trying to convince myself of that, just so that I don't even think about it? Right, that should do it. <laughs> Killer Dove, the, the multi-threading, I think, would have almost would have very minimal impact on any sort of clang related problems because I'm pretty sure they started doing the multi-threading stuff around the time that the clang side of things got heaps better. There we go. Stability for 10 seconds. Now I gotta get to the moon. Uh, apparently the poltergeist <laughs> nuke was, um, that, that was a turret that the shadow just looked a bit odd from that angle. Oh, right, I'm going the opposite direction. Where is this going to end up being an intersect with the moon? Also, am I too inclined compared to the moon? I might be. Alright, should probably fix that. Um, I can totally do a reverse capture, right? Totally. Yeah, we can do it. That'll be fine. Nope, not that way. This way. Let's just get it on the same plane, just going in the opposite direction first. I've never done this. I'm interested. I've got quite a lot of fuel left, so I think it'll be fine. And if it doesn't work, I've, I've already completed the mission objectives. And because this one doesn't have to return, it's all good. Uh, one day, two hours. Wait, why am I setting it over there? It should be over here. So used to the, the spin going in a particular direction that I forgot that I should probably, <laughs> that I need to adjust for it. Do 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 do. Oh no! Too far. Come up! Come back! Come back! Eighteen minutes, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, 
That'll do. Is that? Let's make this get to 180, 175. Seventy-nine. There we go. Close enough. Okay. I have no idea where is going to be the best point to accelerate. I'm going to guess it's about here. I wasn't too far off. Okay, that's giving me a... Let's bring that up. 767... Oh. Okay. Okay. So I can't do my normal adjustment technique for this. I think that's probably going to be my best approach. Something like that. Wait, I'm getting two moon encounters? Oh wait, I'm going all the way around and then I'm encountering the moon. That's not right. I don't want to do that. Something like this is where I want to go. Yeah, that's better. I'll be going a little bit slower. <laughs> Yeah, apologies about the UI size. Uh, can I change that here? I thought I'd... UI scale. Apply. Can you guys see that a bit better now? <laughs> I think all the numbers are still tiny. Yeah, the numbers are still tiny. It's just this stuff's a bit bigger. But at least you guys can now actually probably read some of the values on things. Twitch doesn't let me do 1440. Yeah, eye strain was getting serious. Yeah, sorry. Apologies about that, everyone. Down to... Oh, too far. Whoops. It'll be fine. Okay, we have an encounter. Oh, I kind of want to see this from not map view. Where's the moon? Seriously? How blind am I? Hello? Is it currently? Oh, okay. The moon is there. Closing in on it. And now.
Yep, something like that'll do. 44 second burn, and we get onto our final stage there. Sweet. <gasps> no! Um, poop. Just realized I didn't put any RCS on this. Docking to it might. Uh, means I just have to make sure that the other vehicle has. Isn't going to be enough to bump this around too much. Solar isn't getting sun. Good point. My battery charge was getting on the lower side. I do have 600 char like capacity on board, so it's not too bad. Thank you for the reminder before I did run out, because that would have been annoying. Alright, 1 minute 43... To go down to 22 seconds. Went too far. Whatever. It'll be fine. Alrighty, I have successfully exceeded the mission parameters, which is a nice feeling. Choose outcome. Ooh. Less confidence in me this week. I see. I see. I wonder if the prediction was still running when I flipped my rocket. <laughs> I can't remember. Cool. Alright, we have a Comsat in Muna orbit. And we can exit the mission. With another 12 science. Space Center. Yep, more space trash. Gotta have the space trash. But at least we can just delete it in KSP. Don't have to figure out ways to go and collect it. But yeah, that prediction was like only 56% of points were towards <laughs> winning. Succeeding. Uh, Alright. So, next mission is... Rendezvous and plant flag on the moon. I reckon if we're going to go to the moon, I kind of want to... I've already got the lander. I kind of want to design something that I can take three Kerbals with. Position a satellite and a polar orbit of the moon. Uh, that has to be a new probe, doesn't it? Ooh... You know what? I could bring a tiny satellite attached to my uh, lander. <laughs> Captain splits in the space monkeys. Yes, Hobbs, exactly. Uh, alright. Yeah, let's... What does it need? Just a thermometer. Easy. Cool. Is there anything else that's going to be relevant? Don't... 
I made it? What if I made it so that I could put it? Oh, let's accept that one as well. Satellite to Minmus. Sounds delightful. Uh, okay. So we need a new moon lander with a new satellite attached to it. And the satellite needs to have RCS so that I can dock to the other satellite that I just put in moon or orbit. And then hopefully combined, the two will have enough fuel to get to Minmus to be the new satellite um, around Minmus. Yeah, this mission totally sounds doable. Uh, cool. So yeah, the next mission is launch to the moon with a lander and a satellite. The lander has to go down to the moon, get some moon rock, or plant a flag. Plant a flag and return to Kerbin. The satellite has to dock with another satellite that doesn't have RCS, steal its fuel, and then fly to Minmus to successfully complete that aspect of the mission. Sounds doable, right? <laughs> so, we start with the Mark 1 to 3 command pod because I want to bring a scientist. Then. Halo Bay. Uh, Beer Seeker, I would love to do a cluster of tiny satellites. I just... Oh, actually, if I'm already in orbit, I can just drop them, can't I? They don't really need to have much propulsion at all. Maybe I could. We'll see. We'll see about that part. That part might be a future mission. Um, just because I think I'm already stretching my abilities on this one. Uh, an Octo Mark II. Yeah, CubeSats. That's that's what I'm thinking. CubeSat style. Just tiny, simple. I don't know that I need this payload bay. Thanks, Bezka. I'm still pretty proud of that, of my Survival Maybe series. Uh... What am I going to do here? I think I'm going to have to stick the satellite on the top. Uh, I usually start the predictions closer to launch. adapter for this size. Oh, wait a second. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it it is hard to predict when you don't know what I'm going to launch with. It seems a bit unfair. That, that feels like just guessing to me. Uh, is this where we get the proper docking ports? Do get more adapters here. Oh, yes. And we get a protective shell. Yes. Okay. I'm buying that. I want that. Okay. Uh, that depends what you like, R-Type. That depends. <sighs> Uh, 
Some people prefer the more contemplative. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, does this thing have a heat shield built in? No, it does not. Good to know. Then we should definitely start. Let's plan this from lander backwards. Okay. My parachutes. This thing's a lot heavier than the other one, so I'm probably going to need more than a couple. Three big and two drogues should be enough for this, right? You can make the heat shield less heavy, though. You can just go to, like, 160. Bring less abate ablator and it's less heavy. Bring it just in case I come in a bit hot. Uh, I shouldn't need one for the hot uh, for the top because it'll it'll enter base down and it should auto orientate that way. It should. Uh, right. So now I need fuel for lander. That is the wrong tank. I don't want to make the lander too tall. The corgi. Jeez, that's big. Uh, do I have the poodle yet? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll type. I don't disagree that um, Capac's survival on the moon in Survival Unlikely uh, was is epic and memorable. I just know a few people who pref have preferred other things over that as their favourite. Each have their own. Oh yeah. New adapters, that's in... I could... What the heck is this for? Planetary adapter? Oh, it's a base. The base piece, right, gotcha. Alright, how heavy is the poodle? Because I could switch out and use... Put this on the bottom. Put a smaller rocket down there. What does it say my delta V is for that? 437 versus 4. Hug is the wrong one. Uh... Do I have an equivalent? The medium size? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. Good point. Should switch to the vacuum one to read it. So, 1700. I don't... It doesn't look like I've got the... Um, the right type of... thing for this. 
Because I'd need to, like, I think double adapt it. To go down to that size. Then I could put the pug on there, and it's now up to 2019, but... Thrust to weight ratio of 0.28. Is that enough for the moon? What's the moon's gravity compared to... Can I change this to moon? Yes, I can. The moon. 1.7. Hmm. Daring. <laughs> I don't... Feel, like, that's a lot more delta V. That's 300 meters per second more. Uh... Not by size. Interesting. Uh... The skiff's a big one. The bobcat is the medium size, and then this is the the cheetah is. What is the che What would the cheetah give me? Eighteen seventy nine. Yeah, the the double adapter and the this tiny little thing. Hey, <laughs> thanks, drain damaged. Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, this engine should be enough. What I was looking for, though, is... Do I have the... Where was the rocket plate thing? That was in coupling, wasn't it? Yeah. I wanted to see what that... Wait, is, is this wrong? <laughs> How do I use this to put this on it? How does the engine plate work? Right click, attach nodes. Oh, go away. Double, triple. <laughs> there's, there's part of me that wants to do this. But, 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 do this. Uh... That. Oh yeah, can I change which version once I've already placed them? I don't think I can. There we go. Perfect. It's a little bit less delta V because they're heavier, but... At thrust to weight ratio of 4.64, I am much less likely to blow up and kill three kerb uh, kerbals. You can change the versions while they're attached? Oh, right, you can. Duh. That's how. Cool. I don't want to kill any Kerbals. I want to try and do things properly. 
Okay, so... Wait, do I have an engine plate that's bigger than that? No, I don't have the big, big engine plate yet. Okay. I was just thinking it'd be, it'd be nice if I could put the two and a half meter engine plate on and stick them on that. Because then we wouldn't have this stepping in part. But that's okay. That'll be alright. Now, what I want to do for the next bit... This thing's not going to have to do any rendezvous, so I don't need to worry about adding RCS to it. But I was thinking of adding some extra fuel tanks. I do like these little ones and sticking the landing legs on them, but I think I might go for something a bit bigger. Because I would also like to add some... Oh yeah, that's what I can do. If I go with... Let's go these... Oh, maybe the 100s. If we go with the T100 fuel tanks... Pop them there. Would I recommend Kerbal Space Program for Space Engineers players? Uh, yes, but in the same way that I recommend Stationeers to Space Engineers players. Um, and what I mean by that is... Space Engineers is unique in uh, the way that it's a mechanical engineering simulator. There really isn't anything that matches up to it. I'm really going to have to check my weight balance with this. But my thought was to put the science parts on these out outer pods. So I can eject them later. I think I might be making my life harder than I need to. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, let's just pop this down a bit. Um, KSP is... Similarly, mechanic it's kind of rocket engineering with a bit of mechanical engineering since they added the um, the like the robotics parts. But I still think Space Engineers does that better. Uh, payload. Where am I looking? Payload. Oh, this is getting tall. Just want all the science stuff. I'm gonna be landing on the moon. I want to bring a science junior, and especially since I'm bringing a scientist, and I can reset the thing. Uh, like, so space engineers is mechanical engineering, KSP is rocket engineering, station is is chemical engineering, and I enjoy all three, but for different reasons. Ooh. That's a nice little adapter to use up there. Especially since it's got tape reels on the outside, like they would totally survive. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. The thrust to weight ratio is shifting as I add all this mass, so I'm very likely to have run into problems if I'd run with my 1.7 once I added all the other gear. Resmat barometer. And a thermometer. In fact, I might put this up there because it's a bit easier to see then. Yep. Barometer, thermometer, and that's all I got. Need power, which I often forget when doing these sorts of missions. Uh, 
This has got enough power, doesn't it? How much power does it carry? Electric charge, 150. Yeah. All right. Let's just pop. Some solar panels on here. Totally fine if they get ripped off. On re-entry. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks neater. Yeah. All right, so we've got our science, we've got our return, we've got our power. Uh, next up, I need to have some landing legs because we're trying to get a moon sample. And since this thing is heavy, I think I'm going to want... Yeah, let's go a six leg. Uh, those can go a bit higher. Maybe there? That should be enough for a gentle landing. Does look weird though when you open this and it's floating in midair. But whatever. Can't can't win everything. Um does does this enable... Ah, oh, there we go. Enable crossfeed. Okay, check it on the launch pad. Alright. Uh, should still open, I think. Uh, yeah, I I can't really turn off the mod that adds the rocks to the moon. I think we'll just have to use the, the cheating method again. Yeah, the doors don't clip. So we're all good on that front. Ooh. Frames. Where my frames go? Hello? Why is my game so unhappy right now? What happens when I look at the KSC that's causing this? What the heck? Something is real unhappy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Parallax says hi. Yeah, good point. I don't know how to turn down the scatter of the stuff. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, now, whoops, that's not where I meant to click. Okay, my thrust away ratio is low enough. I can just do a test burn. Okay. All right, the fuel tank. That's the ablator. What am I doing? So good. Everything else with parallax is fine, just the grass. Great. So it's like space engineers trees. Everything else is fine, but just don't push your trees up too far. Okay, so that's that part is working just fine. Now, satellite on top. I'm going to put a clamp clampertron on it. Then I'm going to flip and put an... Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Not sure why I'm putting a clampertron on. I don't really need to. But this way I definitely won't forget to put it on the uh, satellite.
Let's go C, then we go with the probe core. Back, then we go with power. Core. Ooh. Yeah. More stuff before the probe core. Power. And a control. Nope, not that one. And more fuel, but this time it's RCS fuel. Which is where? Where's my mini RCS fuel container? I have not yet gotten accustomed. Oh, there we go. To the restock appearance. Whoa, those are huge. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, Snowstorm, I will do stuff with Kerbal Space Program on, um, the on the main channel probably oh uh, I'll probably do something with it once KSP2 comes out but I doubt I'll do anything before then and then yeah I probably could just do this with just RCS fuel but that's always a pain to do the acceleration and, you know, I'd consider it if I was, if I wasn't streaming this, but streaming this, I'm, I'm going to make this more efficient. I don't know why he said asteroid there, Beer Seeker, but I got what you meant. All right, now we need some RCS thrusters. I like to overdo my RCS thrusters, because why not? That should be pretty close to balanced. It's probably going to be slightly off, but it should be close enough. Uh, yeah. I'd have to I'd have to build this as a separate sub assembly and frankly I can't be bothered. Um, probably pop that up. Grab that. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that is the weirdest looking rocket nose ever. Oh, why did I do it that way? Let's change that up. That just looks weird. Reset it. Edit fairing. Nope. Still looks weird, but yeah, it's a big schnoz. It's Pinocchio nose. Uh, I did play Medieval Engineers, but Medieval Engineers needed NPCs. Uh, Space Engineers has more to do without NPCs. Medieval Engineers had basically nothing. And so... Unfortunately, it never got the it never got the NPCs it needed to be functional. Where are ladders? Do I have ladders? I don't have ladders, do I? I was like, I don't need ladders. I've got jetpacks. 
And that's when you know that I've played Space Engineers for too long. Oh, I am definitely getting KSP2. I hope it's good. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not... I'm a long way from feeling like, yeah, it'll definitely be good. Uh, I hope it's good. How do I do... Wait, if I do a... Night. Hmm. Oh, it's down there. Oh. Oh. How do I attach? How do I adjust the height of this thing? Uh, variant long. There we go. That's more like it. Much better. Okay, now we just need big rocket. Oh wait, I, st I was doing something and I completely forgot I was doing it. Uh, let's go with some coupling. Because I'm a terrible pilot, we're going to add... Those flattest ones I've got. Ooh, oop, that's giant. That's giant. Yeah, we'll go with these ones. Those with some fuel tanks. And then I should have... Yep. Nope. Not that one. That one? Nope. Where's my other hemispherical tank? That one. Nope. There we go. Only took me four goes. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Wait. Hang on, you're saying I don't need to add an extra decoupler here? So, does this act as a decoupler for the thing below it, or does it pop off my engines? So I could go... Ah. So I can just do that. Ah. That's not as graphically apparent as I'd expected. But cool. I know it's got the same red arrow, but it doesn't make it... Uh, it wasn't... I didn't want to assume this. <laughs> so I thought it, I thought it was going to pop off my engines. When I first looked at it. Um... This is getting kind of tall, but I think I'm going to do one more. Then we go with engine. Which has pretty much got to be the... So this is 275 at sea level, 290 at sea level. I think it's got to be the Bobcat. <laughs> hey, Sive. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking... I'm leaning towards asparagus here.
watch the beer seeker messing with you to get the channel prediction points. Yeah, because it turns out that this doesn't work this way. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think beer seeker would do that. But funny. Plus, I, I'm pretty sure there are enough people in chat someone would tell me that I was getting misled. Alright. Uh... Do I want to go with the Twin Boar, which has thrust of 2,000 kilonewtons... ISP of 280 to 300, or do I want to go with another set of Bobcats? I'm kind of thinking I'll go the Twin Balls as my... Yeah, let's go the Twin Balls. Why not? What's my current thrust to weight ratio? What? What? Oh. <laughs> Almost made a big mistake. No? It's not Moon. It's... Cup? What? How OP is this thrust, this ro engine? My, oh no, now it's updated. Never mind. I was lucky to have clicked on the Delta V thing. It was giving me moon values. Um, even though it said here Kerbin until I clicked it and it was saying 4.76. I'm like, how? But it's 0 0.76. That is much more consistent with what I expected. Yeah, let's go hydraulic detachment manifolds. Why not? Fuel tanks. Blam. Engines. Oh, these are the... Oh, these are the big, big ones. I see. Uh, fuel tanks. them. Eh, snap! Let's do it! Uh, in fact, let's do this. So it looks a bit neater. So they line up with each other. Uh, what's my thrust to weight ratio with those? 2.77. I think we're going to be okay. Uh... One twin ball will lift your rocket wherever you want. Three is ridiculous overkill. It's... Uh, one won't, actually. One won't. My thrust to weight... Uh, it might... I suppose it technically might. But I don't think it... I think it'd be just under, because it's 2.67 for the three of them. I've got... I've got way too much thrust here, don't I? Whatever. We're doing it. We're doing it. i got tons of money. It's fine. Um... Fuel ducts. I think we'll just leave it with the simple staging rather than full on asparagus. This will work. Oh yeah, I was I was contemplating upping it to four or six to do full on asparagus, but we'll just do simple. Fuel lead into there. Okay, so let's check my staging. We got four engines going at the beginning. 
with the fuel feeding into the main stack. Then those pop off. Then... That is not the next stage. Let's pop off. Then we need to have this pop off and ignite these three. Then those will pop off. And I'll leave that out of the staging for now because I don't really care where the fairing is. I usually pop them off manually. There. That goes up there. That goes up there. Alright, so we have our four big engines giving us a thrust to weight ratio of 2.84, so I do not need full throttle. Uh, then pop those three. Pop that. Those ignite. Pop those when I run out of fuel in those. Then pop that. Drogue shoots. Regular shoots. Yeah. We should be good. Uh, no, you can't... You cannot parachute the boosters and pick them back up without mods. And I'm not worried enough to add that mod. It doesn't... It doesn't feel like it adds enough to the game for me to be bothered messing around with it. Alright. So, time for a prediction. Uh, start prediction. So, just a reminder, the mission plan involves the thing that doesn't have an antenna on it. Right. Uh, that's why it's good to check the mission plan. <laughs> there we go. I shouldn't need the high gain antenna for this. Oh, it doesn't have a temperature probe either. what I need for it. Uh, build satellite in polar orbit of moon. Have thermometer on satellite. Yep. Okay. Although I could technically use the one from the other one, but I don't know whether it counts or not. So, mission plan. Launch to Moonar orbit. Once there, detach satellite. Go land. Collect moon rock. Uh, sorry, plant flag. Return home. Then control the satellite, go dock to the other satellite, completing that mission. Well, get to polar... I might do polar orbit first, actually. Go to polar orbit, complete that mission, dock to the other satellite. Then, <laughs> once I've docked to the other satellite, try and bring both of them to Minmus. I'm going to say... For the sake of the prediction, I need to complete the Minmus part for a yes, you've got this. Alright? All of that. So many points of failure. Uh, yes, the small outer tanks are piped to the command module. These ones. They're just extra fuel so that I can do a couple of hops on the moon and get more science. That's my plan, anyway. Thank you, Fall. I shouldn't have too much pro shouldn't have had too much problem with it, but that's a good reminder to disable crossfeed on the clampertron so that this fuel doesn't get drained. Uh, let's just add one last thing. Because I wanted to. Alright. Let's go out to the launch pad. Power on both. Antenna. This should be good, right? Can anyone think of anything I'm missing? Oh no. No revert. Pfft, revert? No. No. I'm not allowed to revert.
It's a more stocky looking rocket than some other ones. Oh, that's that's some glitchy. Uh, 2.76. We probably wanted about just over half throttle. So we have pilot, engineer, and scientist for this mission. Launching in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's 100% the grass, isn't it? As soon as I get out of grass render distance, everything's fine. I need to figure out how to turn off the grass. I'm also going to do a very minimal gravity turn here because I think I'm worried about this top end. So I'm just going to punch to fair way up through the atmosphere before I do anything. Yeah, I might have been pushing that a bit hard. Look how much fuel is in the boosters. There's such a small difference between them and the main stage. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start turning now. Deliberately doing this in an inefficient fashion just for the safety after that slightly hairy flip in the last mission. Perhaps is at 75. Go till we reach about 100. Bill and Bob look constipated. Jeb looked mostly happy. Three. wonder if the hairy flip is the name of a drink somewhere. Probably. There we go. Buy boosters. Very expensive boosters. Oh, the day I learned that for how to adjust the position of the separators on the boosters was a very happy day for me because for so long I'd had them attached in the middle and it was always a coin flip as to whether they'd destroy the center engine I remember that being an absolute re revelation when I found out how to do that alright let's pop this Deploy. If you can freak out Jebba Valentina, you're probably about two seconds from crashing into the sun. Yeah. Oh, the satellite's totally going to wiggle. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to just leave my rocket debris around and have to deal with it. It'll just depend on whether it gets annoying for seeing where orbits are going. If it becomes annoying for that, then I'll probably start deleting them just because it's a it's one of those things, it's not a fun, fiddly thing to have to deal with. Um, but in terms of having debris that might run into me, that's kind of amusing. It 
My, yes, this rocket is basically the rocket version of the little worms in Stardew Valley that indicate where you're supposed to dig. You get treasure. Also, I've got a lot less excess fuel than I expected. Because probably partially due to my very inefficient launch trajectory. Yeah, I think running into debris is pretty unlikely. Uh, but still funny if it's theoretically possible. So I'm like, eh, okay, we'll leave it. Yeah, moon. Ooh. Uh, I wonder. Am I able to just burn straight where I am? That would be a yes. Let's do it. Prograde. Burn. Ah, uh, so pretty. Feels going okay. I've totally got to come up with a um, a tiny satellite deployment method. I'm hoping that after this mission, I'll have enough science to unlock a couple of things, and maybe enough money to unlock a couple of things, so that I can try a probe mission to Juno. The, the mission center is going to give me a different mission, though. Um, it's going to give me a mission to dock two vessels in the orbit of Minmus after this. Which is annoying. They're really annoying missions to do, because you have to launch two brand new things to get there. I did one game of all trash in space, only took a 100 LKO at Equator to have an equ a collision. There is RCS on the satellite, yes. There are, whatever. There's an RCS system on there. The trouble is, I tend to not hang out at the moon long enough. Usually when I play, I usually go straight for Minmus. So it kind of breaks the mission order for those, um, those sort of special missions. Okay, retrograde. Uh, basically, the command is in the title. Yep, so far so good. Haven't had any catastrophic failure yet. Alright. Now I am going to... Oh, look at the fuel! Look at the fuel remaining! That's perfect! Make sure this has got fuel, which it does. And we're going to disconnect. <laughs> hey, Perseus. Thank you for 13 months. No, I have not gotten this save uh, Stephanie mission yet. I'm still looking for one. Undock. Alright. 
Um, now, do I want to do the satellite component first or do I want to do the Kerbal component first? I really should put some of these things on action groups. Yeah, maybe we'll do the satellite. We'll do the polar orbit first. Uh... And then I'll do the other bits. Later, maybe. We'll see. Because I think the way... I think I'm orbiting the other way with the other satellite that's here. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, no, because it doesn't... I haven't activated that stage yet. There we go. <laughs> That's good. Uh... Cool. Let's go. Goodbye, cobbles. I reckon if I was going to make a refueling base, I'd make it on Minmus, not the moon. Because Minmus is so easy. To land big things on. Right. Let's flip this orbit. Yes, I will be in the correct direction. Given it's the moon, I wasn't fussed about like that difference in the how far out my orbit was. It's not going to make that big a difference with the Delta V to go further out, I think. It's two degrees. I think that might need to be a little bit corrected. Nope, not that way. No, wait. Uh, need to go around to here and go the other way. Now I've confused myself. What am I doing? <laughs> I am wanting to correct that way. About that much. Go. Cool. My brain no worky. I'll correct that and then let's push the orbit out. a bit that's probably going to be success but we'll just get a bit closer and that'll class as in the orbit I was really worried when I first did these missions that I was like how on earth do I get my orbit that accurate I had no idea what the acceptable tolerance was. T 
10 meters, 10 minute, meters, minutes. Yep, metric time, perfect. Okay, success number one. We have achieved mission component one. Uh, now, mission component two. Is rendezvous two vessels. Which is this one. Set as target. I want to go that way. What's the oh, wait a second. Oh. Oh, I used a lot of fuel. Oh, no. Uh... I might have to bring the other satellite to me. Yeah. Alright, let's switch to this one. Which again doesn't have a huge amount of fuel, but it's got more. Uh, how do we drain between tanks again? There we go. In. 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 And some more in. Whoa, the Vesti! <laughs> Thank you very much for the 1500 bits. Thanks for many hours of working from home second monitor company. <laughs> You're very welcome. I think we drain this now. And then I can pop it off and that's a little bit less weight. Okay. Undock. Oh dear. Oh! Huh. Um, switch to. Just remembered something. I have a lot of RCS thruster fuel on here. A lot of, uh, maybe a lot of monoprom, maybe not. Um, let's... Let's see how much I get out of it. Push me out to 302. Mm. 
Nope. Not what I wanted to press. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. This will save a little bit of fuel. Although that's taken me down to 34. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for a year, Anthony. One year to encourage you to bring success to this mission. Alternatively, you could bring this mission to a success or right over a success and mission in the middle. Yeah, I'm I'm a little worried about the Minmus component of this mission. I definitely that was a stretch goal that I maybe shouldn't have included. I should have probably just said it as a stretch goal. <laughs> I'd be like, this isn't complete can included, but I'm gonna try. Cause I'm really not sure I'm gonna get there. What I'm afraid I'm going to have to try and do here is um, uh, switch to the lander, rendezvous these satellites with the lander to transfer fuel from the lander back into the satellite to then get it to Minmus. So I'm glad I didn't send the lander back to Kerbin yet. Because I think the lander is going to have excess fuel on it. Or at least enough to fill up one of these satellites to send it to Minmus. Ugh. <laughs> I've made this mission so complicated. And I was supposed to be trying to do something just to get the science so I can get to Tuna today. That's not happening. Yeah, sticky keys, go away. Uh, That's a bit better. Let's switch to the other one now. Then set my target. Yeah, the joys of brand new Windows installs, huh? The things you forget. Uh, yeah, something like this. Was, this is pretty close. Alright. Uh, yes, I am on my new PC. And I am happy. 23 second burn. Oh, 
It's not going to have much fuel left. It's going to be tight. If I can get this rendezvous, I think I can complete the Minmus component of the mission. I'm just slightly worried and I can't remember. Do you guys remember when I launched this satellite? Had I already accepted this mission? Uh, Eisen, I haven't even installed Premiere on this yet. I've been so busy trying to make sure my games worked for the streams that I haven't done that part. Let's go... Whoops, it was a bit late there, but that's fine. It'll be fine. A few seconds off when I, my mark is probably off anyway. Fuel's going okay. Well, that's not too bad. 0.7 degrees off. I will adjust for that. Uh, which way do I need to go? I always get this the wrong way around. At the descending node, I think I need to go here. Oh, wait, that's the wrong... Never mind, I have to go all the way around before I get to that point. Thought it was the other way around. Yep. Point eight, point seven, point six, point five, point four, point three, point two, point one, and zero. All right. Now I just got to make sure that I think when I get to Apoapsis, what I'll do is I'll shift this over a bit. Make it line up better with the other orbit. And we'll go out. Actually, we go in. I don't want to go too far, but I also don't want to sit here for three weeks waiting for them to line up with each other. Because I'm thinking the best way to do this is just line these up in space here and then hopefully... Um, like, just line them up by waiting. To try and maximize my fuel remaining. Because I've made this a lot harder than I intended to. My Kerbals can survive forever. Uh, one of the fan theories that I quite like is that Kerbals have green skin because they have chlorophyll in their skin so they can actually um, generate their own food from sunlight. And they have extreme radiation tolerance. Alright, so this is going to take a long time for these to sync up because they are quite opposed right now and I think I'm going the slow way back that's trippy oh because it's a polar orbit where are we at Oh, uh, 
Um, okay, we're over halfway. We passed. Whoa, no, too much. Yeah, I might speed this up a little bit by slowing down here. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, there's definitely some still some issues with that theory. I just kind of like it as a acute explanation of why the Kerbals are fine. Because, sure, you if you put a plant in a closed box, you, you won't run out of oxygen in that box. What you'll run out of is carbon dioxide. So... There needs to be some source of ongoing non-replenishable gas. So it's still an issue, but... And there are others, but at least <laughs> it's kind of a fun explanation. That pays not to think about it too much. Just like it pays not to think about bringing too much. I mean, they could well be... Something that creates its own CO2 and then reprocesses it, reprocesses it back with photosynthesis, I guess. Yeah. The game's hard enough without having to keep them alive, I think. Oh yeah, I know there are mods for that. And that's... I've talked about this before on the streams. Uh, I think those things are correct to remain as mods only. How far away are we? Distance, 100,000. Okay, at the next... I'm going to increase my peri my apoapsis the next one because I think I may have gone a bit too far. Uh, we might be okay. Thirty thousand. Say the distance is it thing. Twenty four kilometers. Okay. Yep. I've gone too far. Dang it. Uh, all right. Should have done this one orbit earlier. happening why is that oh it's relative to target no i did the wrong burn whoops i hate it when i forget that i do that quite a bit Yeah, Vesti, I I do think that um, <laughs> food and water would be the straw that breaks the camel's back for a lot of players in KSP. Uh, as someone who's not especially great at the game, um, 
to put it generously for myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do think that food and water and oxygen supplies would be would be a deal breaker for many. I mean, look how much trouble I'm having getting in getting into a <laughs> into a docking orbit. Imagine if I had to do this quickly because I was running out of supplies. And I guess that's that's also part of it when you think about it. It's having to deal with supplies makes KSP a time pressured game, uh, which I think takes away a lot of the potential joy as well. Yeah, I guess I guess if KSP was more probe focused, it might work to have um, food, water, oxygen, etc. Because then you send probes to generate the stuff for bases. But if if the, I think it just gets awkward. As I said, though, I think it's right for like it's good that we've got mods that do it, but I just don't think it's the right thing for um I don't think it's the right thing for vanilla Okay, we're closing in. We're at 11 kilometers separation. Hard and fun and easy and fun is fine. Easy and boring is just even more boring and hard and boring is just frustration. Yeah, I'd agree with that statement. Is it is it F4 that shows them? There it is. That's what I want. Uh, where's the moon? Above me. Ooh, turn off the RCS, please. Eight point seven Ks out. Six point four three eight. All right. Like I reckon, I reckon the food, water, oxygen thing is something that I would probably, I'd be inclined to play with after I'd completed the game with out them to add that extra interest to playing the game through again because then the playthrough is different right then the next playthrough is more interesting because it's quite different okay I might be closing on this target a little bit too quickly Oh, 
a lot too quickly. Ah! Oh man, I hate it when the controls are so wonky like this. I can never work out what I'm doing. Okay, 14 minutes a second is a little more manageable. There we go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, the the vessel is very light and I have quite a strong inline reaction wheel. Turns out. Okay. How's my fuel looking? We got 6.63 and we got 25 monopropellant. I might switch to monopropellant now. Down to 470 meters away. I have to read off the numbers because there's no way you guys can read that because I can barely read it. Because just like in Space Engineers, KSP does not adjust the size of the HUD text when you increase your resolution. No, 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 no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Yes, I'm some number of pixels pixels away, indeed. Alright, I need to get round to the other end. Oh, man. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> it's so twitchy. <laughs> uh. So twitchy. Uh, what's the key to hide my HUD? Oh, oh, I'll figure it out later. I'll get I'll get a screenshot for my VOD thumbnail later. No. Oh. <laughs> this is terrifying with how twitchy this is. I put too many RCS thrusters on it. Should probably deactivate some. Hit caps lock. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Didn't think I put the big RCS on. Hey! Did that complete my mission? Yes, it did! Yes! Okay. Uh, now, I think what I want to do is transfer into the one with the RCS thrusters. Oh, 
All right. Component two of this multi-stage mission complete. Hey, Tex. Um, the space exploration actually goes all right. I've slightly overreached my skill level, but, you know, these things happen. Okay, so now I should probably switch to my lander. Think. Yeah. Switch to. <laughs> I'm not overreaching my skill level. Am I really playing KSP? Yeah, fair. Uh, now. Moon. X science. Uh. Oh man, that font is insanely small. Holy cow. I'm just trying to find out where I landed last time on the moon. I was in the far side crater. Okay. Sure. We can try to land in... Uh, this crater then, I guess? Uh, the trajectory is probably slightly different, but it doesn't matter. I've... Completed the two satellite missions around the moon. Next, I've just got to plant a flag on the moon, then bring green sandstone from Minmus back to Kerbin. I'm actually thinking if I've got enough fuel after I land this thing, I might dock to the satellite and use this lander to travel to the moon to Minmus with the satellite attached and bring the whole lot to Minmus. Don't leave your UI on Kerbin next time. <laughs> yep. Good advice. Definitely sound advice. Yeah, the, the UI does not handle scaling up to 4K, and the mod UI really doesn't handle scaling up to 4, 4K. Like, it looks like the text, the font in this X science, which um, shows you what science you've completed and where, which is really handy so you don't have to find it. Um, I swear this font size is probably 8 point font which makes it uncomfortable to read even at desk distance or maybe I'm just an old man I don't know Okay, and separate. What? And... Separate? Okay, that's better. Uh, 
Oh, I don't know if there was another thing I didn't change earlier. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. That should be about right. That should give me a comfortable approach. Using magnifier on Windows 11. Is that a thing? Oh well, whatever. It's fine. It means that these windows don't take up the whole screen. <gasps> no, what are you doing? Oh, game, why? Why would you do that to me? Ah! Uh... So, apparently, f being focused on this window does not allow me to control the craft anymore, or the, um, the warp speed. Oh. I'm slightly concerned. I'm really concerned. Um, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, I think we're all right. I think we're gonna be okay. Mm. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> that was not pleasant. Full on clench mode there. Guess I'll land land up whatever this is. Ugh. The fact that I had no idea that was even a thing that could happen to me was especially bad. <laughs> and that's why we packed that extra crate. Oh, that crate of extra Delta V, Kerbals. Yep. Are the Kerbals stuck? No, they'll be fine. I've got plenty of fuel. It just means I I will not be doing a double hop. Yep, I've got solar panels down the side of the command module. Point. Thank you. Always good to switch to the proper altimeter. That was insanely stressful. <laughs> I was I I would have been so upset if that was how that ended. Oh man.
<sighs> My heart's finally stopped pounding. This is going to be... I think I've managed to score a relatively flat bit to land on. Oh, Saif, your timing was not good this morning. Oh, go away! I thought I disabled it. Which which is disabled? I disable Sega Keys! It doesn't have an easy option. I don't know how to do this in Windows 11. I landed. Ugh. Okay, we're there. I landed. <laughs> we're safe. Now, sticky keys. I don't know which of these settings, whether that's on and blocked or not. Ah, keyboard shortcut. There we go. It's in the next bit of the menu. Alright, it should be off now. Let's try. Uh, let's try not with KSP as the focus window. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Crew report. Where are we? Midlands. Right, let's open up our service bay and hope it doesn't smack on the fuel tanks. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, Mr. Scientist Man. Time for you to hop out. Uh... All right, plant a flag. Mission complete for that part. Mission component complete. Stretch. Oh no, that's caps on stretch goals. <laughs> I think that's fine for that one. Okay. Conduct materials study. Experiment, collect data, remove, restore. Pressure data, keep, take. Temperature, keep, take. Observe the goo. The goo seems to be less dense here. Keep. Collect. Restore. Okay, that's all my science. Um, can someone remind me what the thing was to see where the moon rocks were? 
Also, can you get more than one moon rock to bring it home? Do you get more science when you bring more home? Alt F12, that's right. Zin. Contracts? No. Uh, breaking ground, surface features. Are there any nearby? That one's not too far off. Might go grab that one. Uh, how much fuel do I have left? I got enough. Let's keep that open. Yeah, I, given I added Scatterer, I don't think this is cheating. I think this is just reducing pain. <laughs> oh, KSP definitely has buggies. I just don't have one. Uh, maybe... Mm, I'll get this one, but I think future missions I should not allow myself to use this mode unless I've brought a buggy with me. Yeah, the, the very pretty ground textures and rocks and stuff... That's part of uh, Parallax, and I still forgot to turn on the collisions for them. Should have done. Oh, nope. Gone too far. Inside this? No. Nope. Where's the collidable rock? Uh oh. <laughs> that one? Nope. I've got the rock inside here, but then. Nope. Okay, if I can't find this quickly, I'm giving up. This is silly. Inside the inside rock? What? Oh, stream delay. You make things like this so much fun. Not... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Why can't I take a sample? There we go. Pick up Moonstone. Hooray! Oh, I get nothing from it. Well, that was pointless. That. Remove helmet seems like a bad option. Yeah. Oh, next time bring a rover with a scanning arm. Yeah. I might try that. I really do want to...
try and get to Duna before I attempt too much more moon stuff, though. Where is my entry? Oh, 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 uh, screenshot, screenshot. What's the key for HUDless? <laughs> I really want this shot. F2. Pretty. Okay. Boink. And board. And close. Don't need to, but just in case I pop off these fuel tanks. Okay. <laughs> the entire space program in Kerbal is, in, is because of someone wants fancy photos for their wall. Yep. I did the science, Junior. All right. So we've got our thing there. I could wait till I've lined up to try and do this launch, but I think... think what I want to do... Oh, I should wait. I know I'm almost at the big crater, but... I want to be able to get to Minmus. And I think I'll get more science if I land on Minmus, and I'll use less fuel if I do that. So I'm going to go back to orbit, rendezvous with the satellite, and I'm going to complete this mission. I'm going to... I'm going to make this work. And... If I wait a little bit, we should be able to take off when it's relatively efficient to head due south. Yeah, that's about right. That will do. every satellite with you rather than the other way around. Yeah. Makes sense. But this one also has more fuel. The little one is struggling a bit. Well, at least I took off at the right angle. That's a win in my books. It's not... I should have waited a little bit longer, but it's not going to be too bad. Uh, the satellite has to have some fuel left because it has to do the rendezvous maneuver because this thing doesn't have RCS and it does. So I'm just going to bring this out there. I'm not sure I understand what you're trying to say, Ufo. You lost me somewhere there. Doo doo doo. Out we go.
I'll do. I'm not trying to get fuel from the rendezvous. I'm trying to give fuel to the satellite. The satellite's what I'm picking up because I need to take the satellite to Minmus. The satellite's what needs to get to Minmus. It needs the extra fuel, not the lander. I gotta pick up the satellite, take it to Minmus, and then put it in a specific orbit in, of Minmus, and then I complete that component of the mission. So I've got a satellite mission I need to complete. Because, <laughs> you know, I made a 12 stage mission, apparently. How far, how long does it take me to get back to this point in orbit? One hour. Yep, I'm doing it. Alright, since I've got a scientist and I haven't, I think, done <coughs> all of the space science around the moon, I think. No, oh, I have done it. Oh, I haven't done the mystery goo. Okay. So yeah, I haven't done all this science. So I'm going to... Nope, done the... Have done that. Reset. I've probably done the temperature probe as well. Yep. Alright, so I'll go... I'll grab Bob. And we'll EVA. Which I've got. Um, is Bob's suit not rotating? How do I do that again? How do I make him rotate? Oh, that way. There we go. Nope. He instantly went back to that. Why? Why do you do this to me, Bob? Change camera. But I thought there was a way to make him follow the camera. That's how he was behaving down on the moon. <laughs> v. Camera free, camera orbital, camera chase. Nope, that's not changing anything. Select, remove, restore. Select. Okay, that's good. Well, I worked around it anyway. It's fine. So what I wanted to do to try and maximize my science was to go on an orbit and get some of the close to the moon science that I haven't collected yet. Let's do that again. No, my extra tanks are not empty. This is just showing me my extra tanks. Oh, what? Oh no, it's not. Well, I thought it was before. My extra tanks are empty. My extra tanks. I am low on fuel. Poop. I don't think I've got enough to do this. I can't use this. Alright, this isn't providing extra fuel. This is just going home. Uh... All right. Let's do the science anyway. Okay. 
I have done those. All right, Bob, I'm out. Have I got an EVA report over whatever I'm over? No, I haven't. Perfect. Go grab the things, Bob, and we're going home. Well, this has made things extra spicy. <laughs> I, oh, the trying to get to Minmus thing, that was just always going to go wrong, wasn't it? Where's my lowest... My cheapest manoeuvre to get into Kerbin? Orbit. Wait, what the heck is going on there? Why is that so weird? Alright, yep, this is probably fine. Let's just do it. There we go. We've made it into escape orbit. I would rather get my Kerbals safely home than risk trying to get to Minmus and running out of fuel. So, I'm going to get them home and then we'll see if the satellite has enough to just blindly go back to... Um, blindly go to Minmus. Ooh. Oh, that's not a bad little curb and orbit I end up on. Let's let this play out. Rest to man's sacrifice. No! Spin around. more. Oh, are we going to intersect or is it saying we're not? I think it's saying we're not. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> leave Jeb to save Wade, it'll be fine. No! Can't leave Jeb. Okay, I'm going to get this into just scraping atmosphere so that I, I can definitely slow down. Down at 2 million now. And... 1 million. Two fifty thousand. Let's bring it down to like... 50 or something. There we go. 55. Yep. I am going to come in super hot. That's why I want to try and um, not go in deep. Let's see how much aero braking we can get away with. I did weaken my heat shield, yes.
Uh, one option I have here is to try and burn some fuel to try and bring my apoapsis down and bring my just bring my general velocity down before I get into atmosphere. Which I think I will use my fuel for. Because uh, I... Oh, let's just see. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we're starting with... Apoapsis of 16 million... 300,000. 16.3 million. Yeah, I'm hoping 55 isn't too deep into Atmo for this. We'll find out. I'm just hoping I can keep my engine intact during this, so I can still use it. Sixteen point one. Oh yeah, this will be fine. Sixty-one. Let's bring that back to there so it stops skipping around for the moment. This one. It's already, it's knocked off almost 2 million meters of my apoapsis so far. We're down to 13.8 now. Yeah. So we're alright. I think what I'll do is on the next pass, I will use my. I'll use my thrusters to slow down. I just wanted to see how much I'd gain from just a single pass. We could possibly even do a second pass and then use my thrusters and slow down. Or alternatively use my thrusters and then do it, but... It does seem like I should have a safe path home. I just like using my thrusters on the final pass so that I can control, I can burn and slow down during the hottest phase. As I felt like, feel like it saved me a few times. 9.7 down from 16.3. Not bad. Let's zoom. I'm going to do another pass through. go again. <laughs> yeah, it was almost back out to the moon. It cut off enough though. Eight point seven. Since I normally play with life support, this kind of move is not an option I get to try. Yeah, and that's kind of, to me, is part of the reason not to play with life support. Is you can take your sweet time and you can have some fun with things like this. Alright, we're only down to 6.8. There's a part of me that just wants to keep doing these skips through and through and through. Oh no, I know what I want to do. Uh, let's let's get to the apoapsis, and we'll dip just a little bit deeper this time. We'll drop it down to fifty. Uh, 
Alright, I can... Can I read it? Yes, I can now. 50. There we go. It's good. What could possibly go wrong? I didn't... I just thought of something. I didn't specify prior to launch whether a, a fuel... A refuel mission would count for a mission fail for the getting to Minmus bit. I think it probably does. It was, at that, it was at this moment that Jeb realized he was being cooked inside the capsule. Oh, yeah. Can you guys even hear this at all? Did I make it too quiet? Did I go too far? Maybe I'll go back up to 30. Yeah, it's near silent, isn't it? What is going on with the volume here? It's all over the place. Purple kebab. Yep. Alright, I think the next pass I will burn my engines. Ditch my weight and hope I survive. Oh, it's still very aggressive compared to what I normally do. The music might be a tad loud. Let's do another pass. It doesn't take that long. And the music suddenly cuts out. Yeah, there's there's a part of me that just really wants to take this the slow way because I'm really worried I will take I'll end up with too steep a trajectory and I'll kill my kerbals. I really don't want to kill a kerbal. I've managed to make it this far without killing one. I really want to see how much further I can take it. Okay, that jet does look pretty cool. <laughs> you know you should be doing something when the music switches from Enya to Heavy Metal. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're down to 2.3. Oh, hold up. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, what about the science? Aha! Thought I was missing some science out here.
I just randomly remembered, Yufo. <laughs> I can't read the font on the X science thing. So <laughs> it doesn't actually help me that much. No, that's not what I meant to press. Leader for the space program can't read. Yes. <sighs> this is where the cosmic storm happens and give him superpowers. Uh huh. Alright. Even more bonus science. Excellent. It's a pity we didn't get the, um, the Minma science, but oh well. Oh, stop time up where there is an experiment above X science available, hey? I might just leave it on the show experiments available right now, because that'll be useful. Oh. Uh. Huh. Apparently. Don't have that one. If I can see the others, I could do them too. There we go. And I am not doing the EVA report <laughs> that it says is also available. Uh, yeah, you can you hotkey the science stuff? I so rarely remember to set up action groups properly. I'm a bit of a dope when it comes to that stuff. It's just, it's one of those extra steps that delays me getting to hit spacebar and launch my rocket. <laughs> that I so often forget to do. Can set action groups in flight. Oh, that may well end up being useful for me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do something daring. Um, when we get very close to, yep, that loop. There we go. EVA report from Kerbin's upper atmosphere. <laughs> Done. Take data and finally take. This is working out to be quite a profitable science venture, I think. There we go. Just since I had the thing, I may as well use it.
Temperature scan while in space. Oh, I st still have other ones to do. Man. Log. Take. Wow. I hadn't done mystery goo? What's with me this... Bizarre. Truly bizarre. There's so much science I haven't done. You haven't done the goo? That's a total mystery. Well played, Glitch. This is why this science mod is awesome, because it's so easy to forget these things, and it's so painful to check what you've done. So I'm very glad I was informed about that one. I think Ufal told me on that one. It's very, very handy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Down to 1.5 million meters as my apoapsis. What the? Oh. Things keep popping on and off up here, saying that there are EVA reports available. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to grab them now. This mission's been so long, I want to maximize what I get from it. Uh, is one of these science alert? I don't know. This is my first ever modded KSP playthrough, by the way. So, all of the modded experience is new to me. The graphics, to the convenience factors, all of it. And uh, I just keep I just keep wanna I kinda wanna just wait and see how this plays out with this. With my progressively deteriorating orbit. Or hold up. These engines are most efficient in vacuum, so if I wait until I get to just barely above 70 and then hit it, we can see what happens on the next pass. <laughs> I kind of want to do it before I hit, rather than after I hit. This is 100% the first time I've played KSP with mods. Oh, except for the Lunar Multiplayer mod. That, yes, that is actually a mod that I have played with. Now perhaps it's down to 700. Perhaps it's down to 39. Alright. 
we'll slow ourselves down when we get back. Oh, I hope I don't stuff this up. Alright. Burn. Slow down as much as I can. Well, that's it. Okay, goodbye, science. All right, what's going to happen? We are now ballistic. Heat shield's down to 150 remaining. Uh, we are on an intercept this part. Okay, this is it. We're coming in. Please slow down enough that I can deploy the drugs. I think I'm coming in flat enough that I should be able to. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I think I've got this. I think I got this. Uh, this is... I, I have no idea how much science this is going to be. What do I have at the moment? Just so we've got a clear idea. I've got 166. 0.6. How much am I bringing home? Was this elongated mission worth it? Oh, wow. I am comfortably coming in. There we go. Jettison the heat shield. <laughs> It'll pop off eventually. And... Drogues deploy. The heat shield hasn't popped off yet. No, it really doesn't want to leave, does it? it? Must be stuck to me. Ah, uh, could be stuck on the solar panels, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Crunch goes everything else. Oh no, there it goes. Apparently it just has really, really high wind resistance. <laughs> nah, the heat shield exploded. <laughs> I popped it just because it's extra mass that I don't need to land with. Yay, Jeb's happy! Crew report. Oh no! No, I didn't take my crew report out! Oh.
Oh well. I'm sure I can get the science for the desert later. Too late. Ah, oh, what? Oh wait, surface sample. And recover the vessel! How much science do I get? The mission's not over though. I've still got to see if I can get that satellite to Minmus. Ooh, 700! <laughs> I got 700 science from that. <laughs> okay, yep, that's... That's a good mission. <laughs> yes, I... Raw science. Indeed. Uh, right. Before we spend any of that science, let's see if I can get these satellites working. Alright, fly. Okay. I've gotten all of the fuel off, so let's detach. Undock. No, I'm controlling the wrong one. There we go. Now, how do I get to Minmus cheaply from here? Any thoughts? Um. Designated orbit around Minmus with marginal deviation. That's fine. I've got everything. I just got to get there. Hmm. I guess I go this way to try and get a nice big orbit going. Carbon. And then I try and adjust that orbit to line up with Minmus. Am I going to be able to get any of, like, from a polar orbit here, I don't know how much. I kind of feel like doing this piecemeal might actually be better in my hands. That's only 15 degrees off Minmus, so that's not too bad. Can I adjust that in any meaningful way? Sort of. Oh. Alright, this'll do. I'm just gonna get out and do this piecemeal. This is too complicated for me. If I don't burn... What does that give me? So that's a much longer burn time and still ends up with... No, I think my initial plan was best for now. I got closer to... I got closer to a um, Minmus orbit this way. I was less far off 
and for less fuel input. I'll do. I'm not sure that's any better. Is it? Let's have a look. Ah, that is better, because it's giving me a much bigger orbit. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's start this again from this side. And only 10 degrees off, yeah. Cool. Alright, we'll do that. Five second burn. It's a long burn with this thing. Yeah, that's my hope, Sar Mohab, is that once I run out of regular fuel, I'll be able to use a little bit of RCS to get the last bits if I have to. And hope that that'll do the trick. I'm so uncertain, though. Oh, went too far. Whoops. I'll buy it. Minus 8.8 .8 degrees. That's... I'm happy with that. Oh, I've just intersected... Wait, what? Uh, I can probably fix this better on the other side. Uh, I don't think I actually get anywhere near Minmus. <laughs> like, I don't think I get close enough for it to even possibly hit me. I need to get down to its plane. Then I might. Note in 34 days. This has been a long mission. By my standards. What the? Did I somehow skip? Uh, I hate when I do that. How did I do that? Ah! Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to feel very proud of myself if I manage to make this mission a success. <laughs> I'm not going to give up until I've run out of all my RCS fuel and all my regular fuel. I should have enough though. Ah, uh, yeah, that green button's the one I just used. I forgot it was there. Green button to do the time warp. It's 
get rid of you. Nope, that is the wrong way. Six point five. Let's get a little bit further. See you, killer dove. Yeah, I always forget a lot of the convenient things like actually using the time skip thing because I I played so much KSP before any of those quality of life features were in the game. All right, am I going to intersect with the moon with Minmus at some point without spending any more fuel? Ooh, close. Can I do a small adjustment here that might fix this to be an intercept? Ah, let's cancel that. Do that again. I should have done it at Periapsis, but... Do this. There we go. Intercept. Well, sort of. I can't believe I'm going to comfortably have enough fuel for this. <laughs> uh, yes! All you naysayers with your twos next to your names. I actually haven't looked at how the prediction went. And I don't have that on the thing. That's annoying. Where is it? Uh, people did say. So it was 44% yes, I've got this. 43% nope, you'll just miss. And 13% said goodbye, Jeb. Blammo. That was... This is a balanced outcome. Don't yay until it's over. Yes, Saint Lucara, you do have a one. <laughs> and yes, Spock help. I, I feel like the people who vote for three are doing it for the giggles, not for the expected outcome. <laughs> if Jab goes boom at this point, you've really stuffed it. <laughs> Yeah, what I've done is I've taken the satellite and I've rammed it in to the VAB. That's what I've done. If Jeb dies now. <laughs> Oop. Uh. Alrighty, and getting into orbit of Minmus. Okay, now when the heck is this orbit I've got to get to? Oh, it's not too bad. That could be worse. Could definitely be worse.
pretty close to what I want, yeah. Do, do, do. Wait, using the wrong button. Use the safety button. Where's my three, two, one, zero. There we go. Zero degree inclination. Now we can go with this and bring it back in. Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't I didn't overreach as far as I feared. <laughs> Thanks test unit. Knew you had it. Yep. Somehow, somehow I managed this. This gives me hope for getting to Juno. This gives me some hope. It might work. It might happen. Oh, went too far. Alright, and retrograde burn. There we go. Victory is mine! <laughs> I did it. I did it! I did it! <laughs> Choose prediction outcome. Uh, yes. Complete. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I managed to pull that off. That was very unexpected. Ugh. So much money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do we got now? Oh, why? Why do they make us do all these missions that replicate the Apollo missions? I just want to get Juno exploration missions. Dang it! Ah. <sighs> Transfer any crew between vessels. That means I've got to launch two things to the moon. Oh. Err. Oh, I, I actually I could do it part of building this orbital station around the moon. Yeah. Okay, let's accept that. Accept the orbital station. I don't care about Barzon or Supond. Um, Why well, it's giving me Eve missions. Gene, you, you've that's a... There's booze in that cup, isn't there?
Hmm. Test Separatron 1 orbiting the sun. That's a tempting mission to actually take on. I... I totally suck at doing these. So I'm going to let you guys decide whether um, I should attempt... surveys over the moon. You've seen my flight characteristics over the moon. Is this something I can do? Uh, should I do moon survey? Nope. You, oh, it's not going to let me write you suck, so I'm going to write you star 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 star. Yep. You got this. Uh... Oh, that's worth a lot. That's worth a lot. Okay, yeah, let, let's haul one of those. You know what? Let's do a weird test mission combo thing. Oh, I've already accepted too many. No. Ah. Alright. One sec. Gotta do a weird little mission. So I can get the extra one. Uh, there's a landed one. Flight. Landed. Cl corgi. Where's the corgi? Perfect. Uh, JG Squared, I've been similar. I've rarely gotten past Minmus stuff. Um... And that's kind of why I wanted to do this before KSP2 was released. Also, hey, Gapak. It's this abomination. <laughs> it's, it's an abomination. Uh, I have one mission I want to do now. And I've unlocked it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Plant a flag on Minmus. I do want to accept that mission, but it's not the mission I want to do. Isn't that one of the ones that doesn't have an expiration date? Uh, no, the plant, I th it has to be offered by these people to not have an expiration date. Yeah. So, I have a combination of missions I want to test, and they're t it's a test mission. So, I have to go stack separator into flight over Kerbin and test it. As part of the staging sequence. In combination with hauling an atomic rocket mo motor into high orbit. And I want to bring the Rhino liquid fuel engine on an escape trajectory out of Kerbin. So I can test a Separatron orbiting the sun. You might not be able to do all of that in one mission. Because the Rhino is so heavy. Because the stack separator, you have to be at a particular speed as well. Yeah. Yeah, I know. If you don't happen to be at that speed in that altitude range. Yep. That's where the, that's where the spiciness of the launch comes in. Oh boy. <laughs> Because I, I, I'm running predictions, and I'm not going to do this with a curb, Kerbal on board.
<laughs> Capac stopped talking logic to him, let him blow things up. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's easy. If he wants advice on how to blow things up, I'm here. Uh, so, missions. First off, I need to get... Put a protobidine on there. Uh, with payload bay. What have you got? Atomic rocket. Yep. A separator. And what was the other thing? Uh, this. Which has Boy. to get onto an escape trajectory. <laughs> oh no, that's not it. Where's the rhino? Which is the rhino? That's the wrong one. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's only- Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think that's any better. <laughs> Uh, yep. That has to get on an escape tra trajectory. Uh, Nuki Worlds, uh, Crichton and Farscape was an American. So, those are all American space issues, not Australian ones. In Farscape? Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, yep. Can't deny that. Capax logic is impeccable. The Americans can't even avoid a wormhole. <laughs> Just fly straight into it. Yes, the Aussie space, space issues were all the aliens. We were the aliens. Biggest shell. Wait, I've got heaps of science. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, Gros. Uh, I have 880 science. I want to spend stuff that'll get me to Duna next week. Oh, I actually, yeah. Whenever I manage to fit this stream in next week, because next week's going to be weird. So I probably want to buy those anyway. But I'm just thinking if I can get the bigger payload stuff. Aha, that one. What else does that give me? Oh, give me the Clampertron. Yes, I'm doing that. Okay, so for this mission, I need to have the stack separator that I can eject at any point. So I'll just whack that on the side and weirdly mount it, I think. Yeah. Sounds like the best way to handle the yeah. requirements. Um, I need to haul the Cherenkov atomic thing. So what I might do is pop... What's the Cherenkov look like? He's big. Do you actually need fuel to test the engines, or do you just need to, like, fire them? You can just fire them. Oh, hold up. You know, you could do a rocket that flips over. <laughs> Good. So you use the big thruster to get you up to space. And then when you're up there, you use the nuclear one to circularize your orbit. Then you switch back to the big one. <laughs> I think I think that's likely to lead to more failure, not less. I don't see how that could possibly make things more complicated than they need to be. Uh, open 
than that. Nope, not that one. Well, that's that's why they filmed it in Australia. Rigel wasn't a puppet. He was just a local. <laughs> there wasn't any like makeup or puppetry <laughs> in that series. They were just people that they found on the street that had the right <laughs> appearance. Uh, yep. If you walk around Sydney sometime, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um... Pretty sure they found Rigel just busking around uh, Southern Cross Station in Melbourne. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you going to call this monstrosity? Fine. Graz can have it for now. There you go. Unneeded spacecraft. Actually, let's make it kerbalized. Okay, so let's just check that my logic here is vaguely sound. Uh, and also because I'm going to need it. Let's put another reaction wheel in here. Uh, so we've got a Separatron in there, which is in here, I think. Yep, still got the Separatrons. So we've got the Separatrons, which need to wait till the very last thing. So they're the very last stage of anything. Then we also need to... We just need to haul the atomic rocket so it doesn't have to be set off at any point. Um, the Rhino needs to be tested, so it actually has to be fired as a stage. Those can both be pop. That should go in a separate stage, which I'll pop off at a point that makes sense to me. So I don't know when that's going to be. All right, now I just got to launch this thing up up there. Somehow get this monstrosity into orbit. But I also need to get this stack separator on here. So coupling is, is that a? Oh, that's just a fairing piece, isn't it? The, this... I thought it was a separator. Yeah. I should also close these. Don't want them sticking out of the fairing? <laughs> Not really, no. Wait, do I even have the bigger separator? Is the TD-25 the biggest one I got? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that could be a problem. Uh, it's fine. Don't you have one of those like expander fuselage bits? Yeah, I do. Maybe. I don't know which ones I've got. Where would those separators be? Volume containment. Yeah, that's that's it, isn't it? Yeah, TD thirty seven decoupler, yes, you're right. Wait, are these the big ones? Or are these the extra extra big ones? DS-37? Wait, wasn't the other one a TD-37? What's the difference? Oh. 
Let's get them both. You got heaps of science. Well, I do, but I want to also carefully choose what science I take, I, what things I pick up for my mission to do know eventually. But I'll probably do another mission to the moon before then, so I'll leave it. Okay. All right, I'll grab this one. Let's see if that's got the part I need. Uh, it gives you a lot of options. You can put some flags on. Okay. It's this big one. There we go. Now, fuel. Uh, I see. Thanks, BSC. Got decoupler stays attached to one side. Yep. Separator splits. Do I have any of the biggest fuel tanks? I do. Robert. I think I've only got these this size. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's get the big fuel, large volume containment, research. I'm trusting Capac's judgment here on what to spend my science on. What has the world come to? Uh, you got some parts mods installed? Yes, I do. Are those like quarter section parts? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're mods though. I've double storage unit at this, but it's done now. I think it'll be awkward to fix. Uh, have you done any science in orbit around the sun? Uh, I have. Yes. Oh, I need um, radio things, though. Just in case. Ah! Clicked on the wrong thing. We have antennae. Now we need a big ol' engine. Lots of little engines. Well, yeah, I could do that. Do I have a big enough engine for this? Or am I just going to have to do multiples? Yeah, I don't think I've got an engine the size that fits this. Okay. Just put like 50 of those little ones. Yep. Uh, so the way we do that is with one of these. Uh. Okay, which, which engine shall I use? The smallest one. No, the Rhino is the next size down. Oh no, wait, the Rhino is the right size. Put six of those on then. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just use the Rhino. Why not? How bad is it? How bad could it be? Where is it? Oh, it's terrible at sea level. Okay. It could be really bad. Um, next up, we want coupling. So I might not have put enough bits there. Fuel tanks. Mm. Hmm? As I'm saying, bigger engines are typically worse at sea level compared to smaller. Yeah. But 
But if you're going to get most of your thrust from, say, something like this. Oh, that's the wrong size fuel tanks. I did that last time. Nope. Yes. Seems like a very expensive test to see if a rocket can just handle being in space. I'd agree with that. Also, I have not aligned those right on the hydraulic attachment manifolds. But it's a fun test. Don't you reckon? Uh, almost looks like a Shinra number 26. It's a fun test when you have to wonder whether you've got too much stuff. You to you. You to you. You to you. And you to you. Then we look and we have a thrust to weight ratio of 1.84 at sea level. Okay, so now I need to split these. Yep. Uh, wait, that's not right. Just to go this way around. Those two pop off, then those two pop off. Um, okay, and then aerodynamics for some fins. Oh, that upsets me a bit. Hang on. That's better. That's much nicer. <laughs> Can't have the wonky rocket looking wonky. Okay, the unneeded spacecraft. Time for prediction. Uh, also, the poll ended up with 80% saying, yep, I should do the moon survey. So someone remind me that next week. Prediction. Start prediction. All right. Standard rules apply. I've got to complete all the mission objectives for the complete. And I've forgotten one of the things, which is the stack separator. TS06. Oh, it's teeny tiny. Just pop one on there. There we go. <laughs> uh, right. So that's going to require me being at a particular speed between 19,000 and 25,000. Oh boy, where did those end up as well? Okay. Uh, so we got the stuff for the stack separate a bit. We've got the stuff for the Trenkov thing in orbit of Kerbin. We've got the Rhino to test on an escape trajectory. And then we've got the Separatron for the sun. All right. Uh, the stack separator, do you have to do that through staging? staging? Yeah. Or... 
Yeah. So I need to put it somewhere where I can quickly drag it. Yeah. But I don't know which stage I'm going to be at when I need to pop it. It's going to be between yeah. one of these two, so I might put it... I'm going to put it at the top so I know which one to grab. When I'm getting close. Here goes. Uh, the Blamo option, yeah, is included for pilotless rockets because it includes just exploding the rocket. Catastrophic failure. Yeah, it's the catastrophic failure condition. Nuclear engine goes nuclear. No, the experimental parts that have a test option are only when it says a test. What it'll say here is note, to perform the test, activate the pass through the staging sequence. So that's why I know I have to do it through the stage. All right, here goes everything. Uh, 19,000 to 25,000. It's going up. That's a good start. Yep. It's staying up, which is even better. I reckon we're going to need this in there. Might need to throttle back. I'm going to... Yeah, actually... I just want to make sure that I actually hit the 600 by the time I hit 19,000. I'm not going to do much of a gravity turn, I'm just going to launch straight up, just to make this easier. Almost at speed. Yep, almost at the position too. Green. Got green, it. Green. Oh, <laughs> I got it. I saw explosion. <laughs> yeah, you did. That's one down. Yep, one mission complete. Next mission part is the Cherenkov atomic rocket. Just gonna circularize that orbit. Yeah, what's my Apple apps is at it's at ninety nine. Okay, I have no ability to turn without um, rocket thrusters going, so let's just keep them going. Now we're down to just one. Yes, pushing the planet away with vigor. Vim and vigor. And then we can deploy that. And now we have our weird rocket. <laughs> Fully revealed. Oh, you need to be in a pretty high orbit. Yeah, I do. I'm a little bit worried I don't have enough fuel to do this. Eh, you'll be right. Because this is the final stage. I don't have a stage beyond this. I think what you said about putting some fuel for this ro the nuclear engine, that would have been smart. Well. I am a space genius. <laughs> Sure. Space Genius Amaru. Circularize? What's that other thing? Oh, is that the other section? Uh, it was a... I think it's a thing up there waiting to be rescued. One of the rescue missions. But since it's not Stephanie, I don't care. Does the nuclear engine have access to fuel? I don't think so. 
Although I could enable crossfeed. Yeah, it actually does. Because it would be a lot more efficient than the big fella. Yeah. If I enable crossfeed across everything, it might be able to? Question mark? I am in orbit now, though. I think there's even a way to, like, reverse the controls so it won't be all weird. I don't yep. remember how to do it, though. Down engine. Um. Uh, oh, actually, I'll just leave it. I'll just yeah, do it. I forgot about the oxidizer. That perhaps this is at around where I need it. That was a bit too high, actually. Yeah, but we'll pass through it, so it's fine. But you didn't put the antennas in an action group so you could extend them all at once. <laughs> Would you have? Yeah. Would you have remembered if you were doing it while streaming? Yeah. Hmm. Because I like pressing a button and making them all transform at the same time. Ah, okay, yes, you would have. Yep, I actually do believe that. Oh, are you going to run out of power on the dark side? Uh, I have hold the thing, which means I can pop off the thing now. Say goodbye to the Cherenkov thing. That way. Now I just need to get on an escape trajectory. Just gotta get back to periapsis and burn. Yeah, is it... Curious, is it more efficient to burn at apoapsis where I'm further out, or periapsis in this position? It should be at apo uh, periapsis, right? I thought if you were outbound, it was at periapsis, because you're all, always going to become periapsis is when you start burning anyway. Yeah, true. That doesn't seem like it helps me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I always thought of it as periapsis outbound and apoapsis inbound. I should try and hit the moon, actually. That's what I should do. Use its gravity to throw me further. You got some seismic detectors set up. I hit the moon. I thought I had a. Hmm. Need to go back more uh, anti clockwise, don't you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I struggle sometimes to figure out what the encounter markers are telling me. Especially when they're flickering all over the place. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Alright, I should probably just burn right now. Uh oh, I think I might be out of power. I've run out of power. Called it. <laughs> Alright, i got to wait till I get in the sun again. Oh. Hooray. Oh, I've only got ten. That is problematic. You didn't put any batteries. No, I clearly forgot. At least I put solar panels.
Yeah, those Capac panels do come in useful from time to time. <laughs> if Space Engineer's solar panels were as light as the ones in KSP, I would probably not have such an issue with Capac sticking them on flying things that are supposed to fly in atmosphere. Well, solar panels are nice, but without a high Capac city pa uh, battery they don't do you much good really yep Still going to have power left. Okay, maybe not. I have an idea though. Not burning now. Sort of. I think this engine might have an alternator. Just waiting till I've got almost all the way there. That oh, looks like I'm going to get there anyway. Alright, let's start burning. Four thousand three hundred units of fuel left. I hope I've got this. Push this out. I might redirect myself a little bit here. Yeah, that's better. Isn't it already well in escape trajectory? No, it's not. No. I just get into a larger carbon orbit. Oh, what's that other line going off into space? Though? That's my planned line. Oh, I ran out of power again. <laughs> I can't do anything. Ugh. Gotta wait till we get to the sun, and now I'm flipping. Okay, now I can try and do this. I am not making my life easy today. I almost smashed into the moon. Um, had to do a rescue because one of the windows in game had taken focus, so my cancel, um, my cancel command for the. Come on, turn, turn you jerk. For the time warp, didn't work. There we go, escape trajectory. Yeah, so, because uh, I was coming in, I had the war time warp act active and one of my mod windows had taken focus and I couldn't stop my time warp and I just barely stopped it in time to then do a lucky recovery of the lander before it hit into the surface. <laughs> so what's happening now? Splitzy keeps running out of power. Yep. And Capac made a bad pun about high capacity batteries. Great pun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Apparently, there, I can run. No. Hmm. If I do this, is this going to pass the mission? Uh, you're on escape trajectory now, so you should be able to test it. Hooray! 
Hooray! That one's done. Now, last is the Separatron. Which has to wait till I'm in orbit of the sun. Yes, SX Driver, I did complete the previous mission with 100% success. Ooh, I can spot objects. Ooh. I want to try and capture one of those at some point. But I want to get to Duna first. Okay, orbiting the sun. Time to test the Separatron. Have I got any power? Three, two, one, make rocket weird now. Oh, time warp. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's one problem that NASA doesn't have. What's that? Accidentally leaving time warp on. <laughs> yes. Cool. I need to do the thing. Where is it? Choose prediction outcome. Oh, people were confident in me this time. 71% yes, you've got this. And you but, were right to have confidence. What are you going to do with the rocket now? It's going to float in solar orbit. As a, well, there's something you can do with it. Oh, well, it's a it's an antenna relay now. So that's what it's for. <laughs> cool. Well, with that mission successfully done, Capac, do you want to start your pre-stream for your Dark Tide? Yeah, I guess I'll do some of that. Um, is that what you're planning on doing? Yep. Um, I might join Capac for a couple, but I won't stream my POV, so I'll raid Capac once he's actually gone live. Because I like to just chill while we're playing games like that. Uh, I might try and turn this. There we go. Now it'll gain power. So yeah, I will be back on Thursday morning with some more Valheim. And I'll be back and... But... Hang around and go to Capac's channel with me to watch him play some Dark Tide. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then slash over at Capac's channel right now. Yeah, that. <laughs> Raid in eight, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> it takes so long to wait for the raid. Nah. Yeah, it does. <laughs>